The Planet Crafter is a game that is currently early access at the time of making this video that is all about terraforming a planet and is got kind of that Subnautica style vibe a lot of people say. And of course, just like Subnautica, you can mod Planet Crafter. However, it's probably a little easier. So if you've been playing Planet Crafter and want to have mods in it, then let me show you exactly how to do that. So Planet Crafter right now is on Steam, which means you just need to go to your Steam library. If you have a single drive in your computer, that is going to be under your C drive, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, the Planet Crafter. If you have a second drive or a second library on like an external drive or something like that, then if you've installed it into that second library, you just need to go into their similar path and find the Planet Crafter folder. So in the Planet Crafter folder, we have these files, which includes the game executable itself. What we need for this is BepNX. Now, you may already be familiar with BepNX, or at least have heard of it. This is a modding tool for games based on the Unity engine, and conveniently is the backbone of QMods for Subnautica, Subnautica Below Zero. So to get it for Planet Crafter, I have linked below to the stable build page on their GitHub. And right now, that is currently the February of 2022 version. And depending on your system, you need to get either the 64-bit or the 32-bit. If you've got a recent system, as in the last few years, it's going to be 64-bit. So just click on that. And once the zip file is downloaded, go ahead and open it. You will find these files inside. So you have three files, a text, a config file, and a DLL, plus the BepinX folder. Just go ahead and take everything here and copy it into your Steam folder. Now at this point, you go into the BepinX folder. You see there's only the core folder. We have something else we need to do, and that is we need to go and run the game one time. So you don't actually have to play the game. You just need to open it and then literally just close it again. And after you do that, just go back to BepinX and you'll see we now have several folders. One of those is plugins. And this is where we're actually gonna put our mod files. So to make it easy, I have linked below in the description, both the Nexus mods page and the wiki page where you can find mods for Planet Crafter. For example, we're going to go ahead and get craft from containers. This is kind of like easy craft and let it lets you pull items from nearby containers for construction purposes. So we're just gonna go up here, click manual to download it. We're gonna click slow download, and then it's gonna download a zip file. When you open the zip file, you're gonna see just a DLL file. This is the only thing you need to copy and just copy it into the plugins folder. That is it. That's all you have to do to install the mod. And any mods that require a special config file or anything like that will be generated after you run the game one time. And again, just like we did for Bepinets, you don't actually have to play the game, just open it and then close it back out. As I said, you also can find mods on the wiki page. Again, that is linked below. Now, most of these are either going to download a zip file or some of them are actually going to download the exact DLL file, no zip file needed. So if you do that, you are going to get a warning saying, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it anyway? And it will have the DLL at the end. If it says that, keep it, it's fine. That just means you don't have to unzip the file and do that. You just get the file in your downloads and drag it over. Or you might get a file like the grower grab vegetable only one, which actually has a folder inside of it. And then when you go inside that folder, then you find the DLL file that you need to drag over. So depending on how the mod author packaged it, it, that's how you will get everything in. But in the end, all you're looking for really is the DLL file. Again, config will be generated once you open the game. One time with those, it will generate a config file in the config folder for you so you can then go in and make your custom adjustments. So I hope that made it simple enough for you to follow to do the modding on the game. And again, there's no real executable for this like QMods. We're basically just using the back end and it's as simple as dragging in those files, opening the game one time to generate the config. And after that, drag the DLL files into the plugins folder.